Hello everyone and welcome back to another James Talks About the NFL. And the playoffs are coming. Yes, my friends, the playoffs are coming. <laughs> but my sickness is already here, sadly enough. But that's beside the point. Let's see, let me think here for a second. On Thursday, the Seattle Seahawks locked up the NFC West. <laughs> <coughs> by beating the Los Angeles Rams at home. So they will get a home playoff game this January. And the Cowboys are just a win and a Giants loss. Maybe or. Well, they could clinch their division and home field advantage somehow. Hold on, let me. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I don't... <sighs> yeah, I wasn't... Yeah. I hate having to do research, especially when I don't want to record the video already because I'm not feeling that well. Okay, let me look this article up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the Patriots can clinch the AFC East. Uh, sorry. <laughs> With a win or a <coughs> Dolphins loss. And the Seahawks. No, I already mentioned the Seahawks. But the Chiefs and the Oakland Raiders. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Oakland Raiders can both punch their tickets this weekend with a win respectively hold on my glasses look a little bit crooked yeah they'll be fine let's see um Hold on, in just a second here, I'll read off the projected seeds right now. Uh, hold on. Let me stop the recording here for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so the projected seeds as of right now go like this. Where we currently are as of December 17th, 2016, where we've only played one game in week 15, and that was a Seattle Seahawks win over the Los Angeles Rams, which I mentioned. The Miami Dolphins, who were hoping to get a wild card spot, play the New York Jets tonight, so that could shake things up by the end of the day. <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry. Okay, so the one seed, which will probably gain home field advantage, is the New England Patriots. Well, this is the AFC. The Patriots have the one seed. 
the Chiefs of the two seed. Yeah, the Chiefs are the two seed based on the based on them beating Oakland twice this year, including a couple of including nine days ago against the Raiders on that Thursday night. So Kansas City is the tiebreaker over Oakland to have that two seed as of right now. But things could change. Oakland could win that division still. Let's see. And it's very likely. Let's see. The three seed is the Steelers, who have a little bit of a leg up against the Ravens. And if they beat the Ravens, then I think next week or this week, then they will win the... AFC North and that wild card spot. Then you've got the playoff spot from the worst division in football, at least from the AFC, the AFC South. The Texans have that four seed. And then the Raiders have the five seed with the same record as the Chiefs, but I mentioned that the Chiefs have the tiebreaker, so they're so they are granted the higher seed. And then another team from the AFC West, the defending Super Bowl champion Denver Broncos, have or the current six seed in the AFC. But I do believe that the Miami Dolphins will get that six seed based on the fact that the Dolphins schedule is a lot easier for them to go two and one than the Denver Broncos to go two and one. <coughs> Once again you can check out the Dolphins try to claim that playoff spot as Matt Moore makes his first start in five years against the Jets tonight on NFL Network. Let's see. The Broncos are ahead based on the fact that their strength of victory is .418 versus the Dolphins .322. They have not played each other this year. So, whenever tiebreakers aren't there, you go by strength of schedule normally. And then you've got the Dolphins, who are in that 7th seed. Baltimore's 8th. Yeah, which the Texans and... Titans, the Titans are the projected ninth seed. The Titans are behind the Texans, despite having the same record because of the Texans beating the Titans earlier this year. They have another game in just a couple of weeks that could decide the division, but the Texans could climb it by the end of the weekend. Uh, sorry about all this rubbing my nose, coughing, and doing all that. It's just that whenever you want a video from someone that's sick, that's... That... <sighs> okay. In the NFC, we have currently, which this will probably stay true to the end, the Dallas Cowboys with the number one seed. <coughs> <coughs> it would take another December meltdown for the Cowboys to not 
have that number one seed as they are ahead of the number two seed Detroit Lions by a couple of games with three games left on the schedule. So Dallas might not get home field advantage, but it is very likely. It is it is very likely. I don't want to guarantee that, though. And just as I mentioned, Detroit is the two seed with a 9-4 and four record. And the Seattle Seahawks, whom I mentioned claimed the NFC West in a victory on Thursday night over the Los Angeles Rams. Mine I mentioned for the third time, although it's not really that necessary. They have an extra game played, but Seattle does have that tie, that, that disgusting tie, in the worst football game I've ever seen in my entire life. That freaking... Seattle Seahawk Arizona Cardinal tie in October was absolutely disgusting. It was ugly. I don't know why I didn't go to bed instead of watching it. Because I kind of wanted to see who would win. It was disgusting, but enough about that. Seattle has a 9 4 and 1 record, which. I guess playing the extra game and not having a better record than the Lions kind of means that you don't have the leg up on them. <laughs> and then in the South, Atlanta's doing their yearly <laughs> choking. Their annual choking. <laughs> like they did in 2014. Like they did last year. Like they're doing this year. They were like, what? They had a really good record at some point. Now they're eight and five, and they could not win the division. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, like the Falcons' first half of the season is really good, and then just <laughs> downward spiral in the second half. Falcons fans don't want to admit that. They do go down a downward spiral once the second half of the season starts. Unless they already do it in the first half, then they're still on a downward spiral. But that's beside the point. I'm a Panther fan. I uh, I just have to make I just have to point that out. But they'd point out like, "Well, where are you going in January?" Making videos. Doing this. Talk about the NFL. <sighs> yeah, Atlanta's barely ahead of the Buccaneers for that four seed. And then the Giants in the first wild card is fifth at nine and four. And then the Buccaneers have the sixth seed at eight and five. So the Falcons have. An 8-5 and five record as well. <laughs> and then... The team just on the outside looking in of the NFC playoffs is the Washington Redskins with the 7 seed at 7-5-1 and one, who tied... With the Cincinnati Bengals the week after the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals tied. It freaking, those are the only two ties. Don't worry. There are no more disgusting football games where coaches go conservative and go for a field goal instead of a freaking touchdown. But that's a different matter for a different day. The eighth seed <laughs> in the NFC <coughs> is... The Minnesota Vikings, who who were five and zero at some point, but since then just have gone two and six and lost control of the NFC North and 
have dropped out of the playoffs. They've been on a downward spiral just like the Atlanta Falcons do every year. But yeah, the Green Bay Packers, their division rivals, are just behind them. And, you know... So, nothing is really clinched. Well, well, I retract that, actually. The Seahawks have clinched the NFC West. The Cowboys have clinched a playoff berth. The Patriots have clinched a playoff berth. Could clinch their division by the end of the uh, weekend. With a reminder, the Patriots need a win or a Miami loss. So if Miami loses tonight, the Patriots clinch the NFC East for the 8th consecutive season. So, yeah. And might I remind you that the Raiders will need a victory to clinch... A playoff berth for the first time in 12 years when they went to Super Bowl. No, it's 14 years since they... Yeah, it's been 14 years, not 12. I was thinking 2002. Yeah, that's... I don't know where I got confused, but yes. It's been 14 years since the Raiders went to the playoffs and they went to Super Bowl 37. It was a long time ago. But yes, I do believe that that will do it for this Football Nerd video. And until the next Football Nerd video, whatever that will be, unless I'm dead because of sickness. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be dead. This sickness is not going to kill me. But, <coughs> <coughs> but yes, guys, until the next Football Nerd, I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. <coughs> 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 Thank you all for watching, and as always, Go Panthers!